Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel today. And uh, to, and today on today's video, um, we 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 finally got a grape trellis, and um, so we've got our two grapes, and our trellis is just over there behind us. And there's two possible decisions that we can put these in, and we'll show you them now. But before we do that, if you haven't already, do make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And let's go show you the new two the two positions that could be possible. Um, homes for these two great plants. So this is the grape trellis and uh, once we've got it up we'll show you a couple stages of putting it up then when well let's go show you the position. So uh, the two positions are just in front of the dogs here we'll dig the holes in the ground and then we'll put them in or it will be we transplant these plants out um, into and we'll take that out and we'll replant uh, that, that side somewhere, we'll probably just get rid of that side um, and we might not have enough space to plant it downwards and then we'll put the trellis up in an arch form I think and uh, so those are the two positions but, uh, but we won't know where we want to put it until we get the trellis up and we have and we see how much space we're looking at um, but let, so let's start putting the trellis up so um, these came with a packet of screws that we got so these are the screws, I can't really hold them up but yeah there's the screws and um we got a pack i think that these are instructions or as my mum calls them destructions um but these are instructions and yeah it, it says assembly instructions um right at the front there it's almost like i don't know whether like you, like when people were children or children um when they did their sats it looks like that sort of paper-ish style because they've got like it's laid out like that so it looks a bit like sats or gcse's or something like that but uh, it's instructions on how to put this up so um we're going to take a quick read of the instructions and we'll just show you little progress updates as we go along and then the finished result so we've got it laid out now and i'll try to get a slightly better angle for you guys but i can't see a thing so hopefully that's all in um, but my dad's a perfectionist so he has to measure everything out and make sure it's all perfect so he's just doing that now um, so it has to be perfect for him to be for him to be able to move on so um, whilst we wait a couple hours for him to finish um, we're, and after that we'll be back so I'm just gonna have a go quickly so we've so we've drilled all the holes because they don't come pre-drilled Right, so that's that screwing. So I think I can do them because I've got to put, I've put my dad's nodding in approval. So uh, I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera. My dad can get the screw, just those uh, five screws in down the end because I'll probably get a minute, I'll be a minute to put them up there. Um, and we'll show you once we've got all the screws in place. Okay guys, so I finished screwing into place the top part. Uh, this bit here. And we've got the legs in, we've got the two legs into place but not screwed in yet. We Okay guys, so I finished screwing into place the top part, uh, this bit here, and we've got the legs in, we've got the two legs into place but not screwed in yet. Okay, so little progress update, we've got the two legs into place now, and we've actually got the, uh, the trellis where the, um, um, where the, uh, grapes will actually climb up, and so we need to get this up and then we need to decide on its final position. We need to get it into place in one of the positions. So we're going to do that and then we'll be back to show probably the final position and um, well we've still got a bit of work to do after that because we need to then dig the holes into the ground and put the grapes into place so we'll be back shortly. 
So my dad's just screwing in the uh, the bottom ones quickly because this is getting to the slap more awkward screwing parts. Um, but we've got the other side to do as well, so we've got uh, that side to do. So this side's pretty much done. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this up. Um, but then the hardest bits to come. This was probably the the easier part because now we've because uh, um, soon we've actually got to dig the holes into the ground. So a little bit of a progress update, we've actually got uh, the first bit of the across bit screwed into place, I don't know whether you can see the screw there, um, but we've got we've got that screwed into place, only uh, one, two, three more to go, uh, one down, four and three to go, so my dad's just going to drill the holes and I'm going to be screwing into place. Okay, so we've decided on this position uh, next to the dogs, so uh, my dad's just digging out a hole that's uh, there so he's just digging it and it'll do the same on the other side uh the ground's a little bit too hard for me to do but uh we'll be back once he's dig the once he's dug those holes i'm gonna fill up a quick watering can and water uh the, some of the containers up top quickly so after about what would you say about an hour um maybe just over my dad's been digging these holes because the soil is too hard for me to do it i know some of you guys might be like why why drew why don't you do it but this soil is really hard and uh, it's taken my dad an hour to do two holes in it. I think he's dripping with sweat right, in it right now. Um, so I'm out here again. I've taken a little break because it was quite hot out here. And um, we're, I'm just going to water the holes. But first we're going to show you the deepness of the holes. Um, I've accidentally just put some water in there. But that's basically the deepness of the hole plus a little bit. And I've already watered the other hole. But let's water this hole now. Right, so I'm going to check whether the other, I'll just check the other hole. I, I have watered it, but it might not hurt getting it a bit again. Right, so we'll let that settle in for a minute and then we'll, uh, or we'll pull it in because then the roots can uh, establish in the water bowl. Then we can, so this pot's already been loosened. We need to get the other pot over. So I'm just putting it in now. Right, so that's in. So we'll get the other um we'll get the other pot, we'll get that into place off camera quickly and then we'll be back to filling around with some new compost. So I was thought it was pretty clay, so that's uh, why it took such a long time and it's been quite a long time since we've had and I think my dad's uh, Hey, it's nothing in the process so um for us but uh, like sort of blistered up his knuckles in the process of doing it um but the other one is loosened so i'm going to bring the pot over first so i'm not carrying it all this way and i'm going to put it down there right so we need to fill in the hole so we're going to do that uh, we'll do one off camera and then we'll do the other off camera quickly. But let's uh, let's do this one on camera quickly first. So we're now about ready to uh, start filling in the soil. Right. Yeah, this is just new compost going in. Um, I said about using the old compost, but then I realised it's probably better with the new compost. Or with uh, the like, yeah, new compost going in, is it because it will have a bit more nutrients for the plant? All right. All right. So a little bit more on this side. So as I said, we'll do the other one off camera. Um. Right. So I'm just gonna cover over now with this soil and hopefully the grass doesn't grow back I don't think it will but hopefully it doesn't so um, next year hopefully once these grow up to the top the grapes will be hanging down and we'll be able to just go up to it and pick it so uh, we're just about ready to water now right so that'll be good for that one and the water, any access water I'll use 
Right. So I'll just put a bit more on both of them. Right, we'll get off a bit. So I'll probably get the hose on this later as well, um, just to give it a really good soaking. Um, but let me just take a quick cut to get into the outro position and then we'll be back. So we, so uh, this is uh, this is an example of what we're gonna do. We're gonna wind it in and out of these of these, um, but that's just an example. So let's go and replica this over the other side. So uh, this is an example of how we did it. So I'm just winding in it. In and out. Okay, so you can see we're trying to be really careful when we do this. Um, but I think, oh. Okay, right, so that's about it for the moment. I'll just maybe thread this one through one or twice. Once or twice, as well. Right. So that one's just in there for the moment. Um, but that's gonna be it for this video. I, uh... So I'm really pleased how, how, with how this turned out. It did take a lot, it took a little bit longer than we expected, but we knew it was gonna be quite a big job. Um, but for, for all the effort, please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to smash that notification bell so you're notified when I upload my brand new videos. Um, as well, I think this is going to be a bit of a mini series, and uh, we've actually screwed this into place to the wall. And the idea is this will just keep on growing, and they'll uh, eventually they'll uh, meet in the middle post, which we'll have to figure out how to do something with that. Probably just grow them down the other side of each other. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so there's two videos popping up now. One is the um, one is the uh, last Friday night update that we did, and one is what you can sew in August. So and um, there were two videos for you to pick from then. And uh, I'm gonna go uh, jump in the shower and uh, um, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.